let's look back at Crackdown 3. The Crackdown series released in 2007, 2010, and 2019. Yeah, Crackdown 3 was released in 2019 when it was unveiled five years earlier in 2014 as one of the big exclusives for the Xbox One. Let's look back at what happened. 2013. During the infamous Xbox One reveal event, when Microsoft was showing a demo of the dashboard, some familiar game icons could be seen, from Halo to Forza, and even the agility orb from Crackdown. 2014. We finally got a proper reveal of Crackdown 3, which would be coming to the Xbox One. It was shown with just the plain title of Crackdown, hinting that the series might be rebooting, and this is just the beginning. We're back. 2015. Crackdown 3 skips E3 altogether, with some words from Phil Spencer that it was making progress. We then got a new trailer at Gamescom, showing more of the open world and some of the game from the developer's perspective. This is also where we hear talk of the cloud, which would enable a multiplayer mode that hosts a full destructible city accessing power of over 20 Xbox Ones, quoted from Xbox themselves. Soft cloud. Play with 20 times the computational power of your Xbox One. At the end of the trailer, says multiplayer begins 2016. This would lead to a full release to follow. 2016. The creative director then came out to announce a delay. E3 2016 came and went with no appearance of the game. During a live stream, some Crackdown developers hinted that the game would release in 2017 around the holiday. This was around the time that we found out about Project Scorpio. It's a monster. Which eventually became the Xbox One X, and it would run Crackdown 3 in 4K. 2017. Finally making an appearance at E3, Crackdown is given a new mascot in Terry Crews, and a release date set for November of the same year. Terry Crews' high energy seemed like a perfect fit. He would then go on to market the game throughout the years. Very shortly after, Crackdown 3 would be delayed again, this time with a release window of Spring 2018. This is also the time where Xbox debuts Game Pass, and it would include all of their first party games, including the long-awaited Crackdown 3. 2018. To kick off the year, Epic Games acquires the company that is providing the cloud technology for Crackdown 3. Spring was silent, and Crackdown 3 still wasn't out yet. E3 is when we heard that the game would be delayed yet again to February of 2019, along with a new trailer starring Terry Crews in the world of Crackdown, along with a few other commercials. We then heard some rumblings that there would be no more delays for the game and it would release no matter what. At the end of the year is when we finally got another look at the multiplayer mode Wrecking Zone. It was severely downgraded from the last time that we seen it. Instead of taking place in a large city, it showed off a minimalistic, low detailed environment and a fraction of the destruction that was initially shown off. 2019, Crackdown 3 releases to a Metacritic score of 60 and an Open Critic of 63. The sources I used are in the description. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, and if you loved it, consider subscribing because it's free. Thank you. During Crackdown 3's development, Xbox went on to cancel Scalebound, the Phantom Dust reboot, and even Lionhead, which is the studio behind Fable. So I think it's safe to say they couldn't bear to cancel yet another project, so Crackdown 3 released no matter what. My personal opinion on the game was that the art style is pretty good, and some of the weapons are fun, but the gameplay loop is very boring. The world itself is bland and feels uninspired. I never played the multiplayer just because it didn't look like I'd enjoy it. Check out Crackdown 3 if you'd like, but I would recommend the first game by far. It's the best one in the trilogy, and I think it's free. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Stay safe.